Now to a story you'll only see on First Coast News tonight. A Jacksonville family is mourning the loss of their beloved pet. Their 15 year old Chihuahua was killed during a home burglary and tonight that family needs your help finding the thieves. Ken Amaro is on your side with this exclusive tonight. Imagine coming home to see that your front door is busted in and the windows are broken. And not only that, your pet is killed. A Facebook post about the break in has been shared more than a thousand times. The comments are full of outrage. One person wrote, makes me sick. When I got home, I guess my uh, house was broken into at some point in the morning. Carol is the homeowner and victim. The past few days, she says, have been difficult. Moments filled with fear, disbelief, and anger. They took uh, the TV in the living room, they took a laptop, and they took uh, jewelry from my bedroom. I can't imagine your reaction. No, I was pretty scared. The criminals took more than a flat screen. They took the life of the family pet, a chihuahua named Cowler. We had the mother dog originally, and you know, she gave birth uh, to him in the house, uh, so he's been here for 15 years. Do so you have any idea what they did to harm him? Uh, all they, the, the police officer said probably blunt force trauma, so we're assuming they probably kicked him across the, the floor in the living room. So. A check of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement crime stats revealed that in 2018, 60% of burglaries were forced entry. And in Duval County that year, there were 4,909 burglaries, but only 757 were cleared. Yeah, you can see the... <laughs> where they went through that. Carol is now replacing her front door, boarding up the window, trying to get back to normal as much as she can. And, and they're still out there? Yes. They are. Hopefully now, they will be found. If you think you know something about what happened here in the Argyle community, call the police. Canamero, First Coast News, on your side.